come out. Okay, here we go. As you can see, there are four lines, and what you're trying to do is solve the bottom line by using the clues from the first three lines. However, each line is trickier than it looks. Let's start with the first line. Something plus something plus something, three identical things equals 45. So at first glance, you would say, well, each of these is 15. And that's true, except that the 15 is derived a different way. What we have is a square, which has four sides, inside a pentagon, which has five sides, inside a hexagon, which has six sides. And if we add up all all the sides, we see that that actually equals 15. So when we see 45, we're not actually considering each of these as being 15. We're counting 45 sides. Let's move to the next one. A banana bunch plus a banana bunch plus the 15 shape equals 23. So if you were to take that 15 shape and subtract it from 23, you would come up with 8. Each of the banana bunches are worth 4. But if you look a little closer, each banana bunch has 4 bananas. So another way to look at this is instead of a bunch being worth 4, maybe each each banana is worth one, and there's eight bananas. So now let's move to the third one. A banana bunch, or in this case, a banana bunch of four bananas, plus a clock, plus a clock equals 10. So if you knew the banana bunches with four and you subtracted four from the 10, you would get six. And it would be easy to look at those two clocks and say each of these clocks are worth three. But look at the times on the clock. The time on the clock actually says three. And so the answer may not be that a clock is worth three. The answer may be that the clock is worth the time it shows on the face. In this case, it shows three and it shows three. So now it brings us down to the bottom and we're going to solve this. But immediately there's a few things that are different. Number one is this clock isn't three o'clock. It's two o'clock. Number two, these banana bunches don't have four bananas. They have three bananas. And number three, this hexagon shape doesn't have a square. So instead of it having 15 sides, it now only has 11 sides. And the fourth most important thing is that we are no longer just adding, but we are multiplying. And if you remember your middle school math, remember that you multiply before you add. So let's look at our line here. 2 plus 3 plus 3 times 11 equals the answer. And the first thing we need to do is multiply the 3 times the 11 to make 33. And now we're going to add another 3. And now we're going to add another, another 2. And there's your answer. Thanks for watching. I have more videos like this. I hope you subscribe to my page. And thank you for watching.